So Qualcomm just announced it's taking on NVIDIA in AI chips, which is a massive pivot for a company that really built its empire on smartphones. They're launching new data center AI chips. They're calling them accelerators starting in 2026. And that is why you are seeing this stock soar. It was at the highs over 19% higher down, but still up almost 14% on pace for its largest percentage increase since, like Carl said, 2019. It's the best performer on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 today. But Qualcomm really just announced their first major customer as well. That would be Saudi startup Humane, who's targeting 200 megawatts of capacity starting in 2026 with these new AI accelerators. Qualcomm, though, isn't going after AI training. That's the market that made NVIDIA worth over $4 trillion. Instead, they're targeting inference. So they're, that's running AI models, not necessarily building them. So every time you use ChatGPT or you generate an image of a cat, that's inference. I don't know why I said cat, but training builds the models. Inference uses them billions of times a day, and that is a market that is becoming incredibly fragmented. Qualcomm thinks this market is going to be huge. Nearly $7 trillion in data center spending is expected through 2030, according to McKinsey. So just capturing a small percentage, even 3 to 5%, would transform Qualcomm's business. Qualcomm has been making AI accelerators for years. Their hexagon chips are already in billions of smartphones. And and so now they're scaling that technology up for data centers. They'll sell complete systems or individual components. So you're seeing a complete rack right now on your screen. But Qualcomm says even NVIDIA or AMD could become customers for some of their parts. The timing, though, matters. OpenAI recently announced it's buying chips from AMD, showing big AI companies want alternatives to NVIDIA. But beyond Humane, Qualcomm isn't naming other customers yet. They're launching years behind NVIDIA's dominance. They're saying it's a lower total cost of ownership. No real details of numbers. But no doubt this is a potential big new market for Qualcomm, and that's why the stock is reacting so.